All right, Bill, you said we were going back to Vegas and we are going back to Vegas. When did I say that? After a game three. Boom, I'm going back there no matter what. Um, <laughs> so what's the point? Opening statement, please. Uh, okay. Obviously a different outcome uh, in this game compared to the last one. Uh, a large part of that is our, our effort. Uh, last game, we really just walked through things. It was um, not pretty to watch on film. We showed them. Uh, they understood that, you know, they didn't put forth the effort in the last game. And tonight they did. I thought one through 11, including Angel McCautry, were all into the game from start to finish. Um, that's who we are. Uh, and, you know, we, we, we played a solid basketball game, no question about it. Energized, pushed the ball, all the above. Chelsea Gray made some good shots, a bit more aggressive. And he starts to find her rhythm. I thought Liz played an outstanding game out there. The whole package that we did, I thought, was um, who we are. It's how we play basketball. Uh, so, you know, we haven't won anything. It's 2-2. Two -two. We're, we're supposed to be. Uh, and so now we, we play the whole regular season to play at home. And, you know, they had their chance tonight. We're going to get a chance to win the series on Friday night. So let's go throw the ball up and see what happens. Fast turnaround for both teams and travel. Uh, that short term fatigue is going to be a part of this situation. So hopefully our depth will, uh, will shine forth for us. All right. I'm not sure if this mic works so that everybody on the Zoom can hear if I call on you. If you wouldn't mind, you say, feel safe pulling your mask down just so everybody can hear. Bill, it seemed like you guys moved away from double feeding Griner as hard as you guys were doing throughout the series. And you said yourself, Liz played a great game, but it kind of seemed like the defensive effort from Liz kind of keyed the way you guys were able to defend the whole Phoenix team tonight. Well, when Liz is engaged, she's, she's a good on both sides of the ball. I mean, she's six foot eight uh, and in long. Uh, I, I think that was a part of our, our plan tonight was to try to, you know, not have to skew our, our, off our defense as much as we did in the last couple of games so they can find the easy baskets. Uh, we took away some of those things today, so we kept them more perimeter. Uh, and we got rebounds that we didn't get in the last game. I think that was another big key to this one also. But, you know, Brittany Gunn is a very good player. She missed some easy shots tonight. Uh, we're not, you can't stop her. You just got to limit, you know, her effectiveness as much as possible. Uh, and we we're fortunate tonight that that happened. And obviously, we've been talking a lot about guard play in particular. They had a great game one, especially they struggled with particularly Williams, Plum, and Gray, your trio that run a lot. For them to have the nights that they had, you've talked about how much guard play matters in the playoffs. Just how well, the guards, the guards win. If I said it all in the past, you know, they're the ones that ball in their hands a lot. You know, I told Chelsea Gray, we watched the film, and I made it very clear to her that she wasn't aggressive enough offensively. She was settling and uh, passing the ball when she should have been attacking or looking for her own shot. Uh, tonight, she came out and was looking for her own shot. Uh, you know, Plum's going to be Plum. <laughs> she's not going to stop, but, you know, going and trying to score. Uh, and Williams, when she's hot, there's, you know, she scored 50 points in the game once. So when she's hot, you know, she's, she gets on fire and it goes in streaks like that. And she, you know, got two or three buckets and extended the lead for us and, and helped put the game away. How much did that, that film session um, impact what these girls were doing? Was it, was it quiet? What was, what was the atmosphere like in, in that film session? Uh, they have somber in the film session that we had after the last game. I, I was very, um, uh, most of the year, like the assistants run the, run the film. I ran the film. I stopped everything. I said, what the hell are you doing? What is that? And what is that? Why are we walking? Uh, so everything about that film session was somber. They had, you know, they went, oh, one of these and oh, one of those. Um, they realized that they weren't putting forth the effort. It was very clear on the film. And tonight they came to make amends and we got the job done. Did everything click on the 24-0 run in the third? There any what? Did everything click for you guys on that 24-0 run in the third? That's what it was, the 24-0 run? Yeah. Wow, <laughs> I didn't know that. Um, yeah, they 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 they, they missed some shots. Uh, we pushed the ball to get easy baskets. We got some steals for layups, uh, and they kind of put their head down a little bit at that point. Uh, it happens in the course of the game. Uh, they did it to us. So, you know, it's just it, it ebb and flow. It's just a matter of how do you stop the runs. And uh, tonight we were able to keep the run going. Uh, how big of a help is it when Williams can provide that spark off the bench as well as well, Williams you know, is a starter? Uh, no, you, well, she, she should be a bench player, but she's a starter. Um, <laughs> when, when she shoots like that, is what I'm trying to say. When, when she gets hot like that, we all know what she can do, and she knows what she can do. And you know, you can't give her that space. Uh, when she's rolling like that. And so that's, you know, and, and she's, I don't know, I'm more confident to take shot and 
with Marta Williams. I mean, she knows who she is and she knows what she can do in this league and what she can accomplish. It's a matter of how she fits in and when her time is. And tonight she found the right time. Thank you, sir. You were talking about Gray being a lot more aggressive. It seemed like Wilson was as well. He's well, yeah, they both had something to prove after the last couple of games. Uh, Chelsea Gray, she's one out there with, with the ball in her hands to start the game. You know, and, and Asia struggled a little bit in the last game and a half. Um, and, you know, she came very focused. She, she, she led yesterday's practice, which is she didn't really do that. She got out in front and said, okay, I'm taking charge of this practice right now and led the stretching. It was great to see. So she knew that she had to step up today also. Uh, she's still going to go get her rebound. She's a machine. She's going to get 20 and 10. I don't know what she had rebounds tonight, but 12. 12. 12. Okay. And some block shots. So she was active. I and mean, then when she's active like that, she's forced. All right. Going to the Zooms. Fago. Hey, how you doing, Coach? What do you like about the aggressiveness of Kelsey Plum in that second unit in the second half? Second unit aggressiveness in the second half? Yeah, well, you know, like I said, Kelsey, Kelsey Plum is going to go look to score. She's going to push the ball to try to find ways for us to get easy transition baskets for our team and for herself, uh, which is good. That's her role coming up. They have great role players off the bench. They, they are selfish. And right now she's being counted on to be selfish but they're looking to score because they're tired, they're starting to get tired. Amy didn't play a really uh, outstanding game offensive wise. She played solid defense. Uh, and, you know, that, that's that, and Stokes. You can't say enough about Stokes. Uh, she came in. She knows all the plays. She executes on time. She plays solid defense. She gets rebounds. Uh, that's why we got her, was that, that veteran player that I, I drafted her. I know what she can do. And uh, she's been a big part of our success down the stretch. Danny? Coach Danny Thompson with three point conversion, great win. You mentioned rebounding in game four, in game three. You guys were out rebounded. I think it was fifty eight twenty nine. And tonight, you guys out rebounded Phoenix and kept them off the boards. What did you tell the team when it came to rebounding? And was this the type of response that you were expecting? Yeah, rebounding basically. Yeah, rebounding basically. Um, you, you know, we are an outstanding rebounding team. You know, we're one of the top echelon rebounders in, in the league. And that's so much offensive wise, but defensive rebound percentage, which is a hallmark of a solid defensive team. So I, I think we knew what happened in the last game. We were skewed defensively and gave them some opportunities. Uh, they still got a few too many offensive rebounds tonight. I thought long shots, long rebounds is it's a cliche in our league, as well as tip balls, a lot of tip balls tonight because they're big. Green the grinders in there, it takes up all that space. You get a lot of tip balls. So our guards in game three were leaking out. Today they stayed home. Thanks a lot, Coach. Just a heads up, everybody. The game is going to be Friday oh, at 6 o'clock, 6, 6 p.m. And we seven. will – I'll, I'll do what I can. Uh, 6 p.m. coming back with Sandy Brondelli.